What's going on folks? Uh, today we're gonna do, we're gonna test some lures. I just bought $150 worth of gear, worth of pretty much soft plastics, one jerk bait, and a couple of uh, spools of line, new fishing line from, uh, from Gander Mountain. So what we're gonna do, I'll show you how to rig them. And I'm gonna drop this puppy, this other GoPro in the pool and show you how it works. There's pretty much everything right there. I'll start with the Power Pro Super 8 Slick. Got the 40 pound test, 300 yards, marine blue. Better. I also got the uh, 12 pound test, 250 yards of the Berkeley Vanish, the uh, fluorocarbon. I like fishing with uh, 12 pound test fluorocarbon when I'm fishing for trout with jerk baits and whatnot. Uh, I had monofilament on this rod here with uh, with this little guy, this little little jerk bait. But uh, it was just because it was all I had. I, I hadn't had a chance to go to the store and or to the uh, bait shop and, and get more. So anyway, finally got some. So next is another Yuzuri. I really can't go into a bait store without buying another Yuzuri minnow or whatever they are prism finish yeah 3d minnow this one's pretty pretty nice so anyway that's what that one looks like that's a that's gonna get a lot of trout might even get me a snook up under that palm valley bridge somewhere that was like eleven dollars i don't know what this is i think I think I handed it to my son to play with and I never just never even never took it out of the bag so anyway or out of the basket but anyway it's a four inch soft shad um, scented mirror lure I have kind of uh, I've had you know luck on this a uh, couple times not this particular color I've never used this color but, you know, I, I figure if you stick it on a uh, spin or a buzzer bait or something like that, probably catch fish. So, and then my hooks. I got uh, the 1 8 ounce 4 aught uh, weighted twist lock hook. And it's, yeah, it's the 1 ounce weighted. So I got uh, two of those. Got two of those. Those are expensive. They're like $6.99 without tax. And then I went ahead and got the uh, the twist lock, you know, unweighted two watt. Lock. And yeah, that is the DOA cow. I love these these lures. This whole cow series uh, produces a ton of fish. And then the Old Faithful Pearl White four inch swimming mullet these get me red fish all the time so i always pick up more of these and just fill up my gulp bucket with them and use the other ones that i already have that have hook you know the hooks been in them so many times i'm gonna cut those up and use them for uh pinfish bait and you know try to catch some bait fish with them so i don't end up wasting a bunch of money on gulps that i can't really used to, to fish for my game fish with anyway and this is the one that i'm trying uh i've never used these before but you can see they look real uh three inch pogey and i am thinking that these are probably going to catch me a lot of fish that sucks that that one right there was bent that was the only one this is the pack all the other ones were bent up had bent up tails in it so this was the only one that I could find with at least six of them that were probably going to swim decent. We'll see how they work. Uh, never used them before. So the first one I'm going to do, ah, damn, that's sticky, is the uh, the Yuzuri. It's the Crystal 3D Minnow Floating Series. Let's get this little, little ring. And I'm just going to do a regular, I don't know what it's even called, fisherman's knot or something like that i don't know it's something i use for practically everything i don't know if you can see that there we go 
I stick my finger through here, my middle finger. Get get enough of the uh, of the tang to you know be able to work with. Wrap it around once, twice. This is twenty pound uh, fluorocarbon leader, so three times, four times. I just do four. Um, some other people might do more, but four doesn't bunch up and it does the job and I've never had it break off. Go through the loop that you have right here with your with your middle finger. Go through that loop and then back through your other loop. So it's forming a loop and a loop. Keep that tight. Wet it. And then cinch it down. And that is the knot that I use for these little jerk baits. This is how I rigged up the DOA, the cow minnow, or cow shad, whatever it is. I don't know if y'all can see that. Bam. It's an uh, eighth ounce jig head with a loop knot, and uh, which is pretty much what I always use when I'm using a jig head. And uh, we'll go over here and see how it see how it swims. I let it sink all the way to the bottom. And then kind of just do like that. When I'm skimming the bottom. You know, I'll I'll, uh, I'll reel it a little bit more aggressively if there's if I know there's oyster beds all around, I can just uh, do like a straight uh, a straight steady retrieve like so. And I'll just switch it up man i mean uh if they're not liking the bump bump twitch twitch pause twitch pause twitch twitch pause go for the steady retrieve across the and bump. that's uh pretty much how i do you know my cows my doa cows that's the uh that's the the quick and easy on uh what i bought at gander mountain and uh how to fish them anyway uh Everything's pretty much the same, so that's how I use it. And I'll use these, the weighted ones, uh, pretty much for the uh, like the flukes and gulp jerk sheds and stuff. But uh, yeah, I can show you how to do that real quick too. Now I got to come out here to my bar and uh, 
do a little bit of pest control. There's wasp everywhere. Can't be having that with with youngins. All right, so if I was gonna use this one on this, do my directly in the middle twists, twist, twist all the way up towards full out. I don't know if you can see that like that. And then obviously see where my see where I'm gonna need to put my hook and do it up. That's in the middle. That's essentially in the middle. I think that'll work. Yeah. If it doesn't, we'll redo it. I don't have much time before my son wakes up, so I'm trying to shoot this video. Leave that one on there. Save it for next time I fish. That'll do it, folks. Um, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, just kind of how I fish and, and what type of lures I use. If I'm just going to the bait shop or the tackle shop, <clears throat> just to kill some time or to re up. That's usually what I get: a bunch of DOA cows, a couple of different Gulf baits, and. Uh, some uh, some some other hooks and, and line and stuff and whatnot. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Good grief. Nice bluefish on the Yuzuri minnow. Big old bluefish for the morning on the Yuzuri minnow. Big redfish on the DOA cow. DOA cow again. Here. So.